this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and uh, to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, just as I was coming through this, me this message on the radio um, was a song that was um, basically the lyric that was playing over and over and over again was I just want to love you. And um, that has definitely been the sort of sums up the sentiment of what I've been feeling very strongly sort of over the last uh, couple of, I don't know, time, you know, could be days, weeks, whatever. But anyway, that real strong feeling of I just want to be able to love you in the in our physical world, in our physical experience and share in that physical experience with you. Because um, what I find quite challenging is once knowing about this connection is then um, is is thinking, you know, the thought of being with someone else is, um, I said, you know, that just doesn't it just it just seems like, well, how how can I do that now? Now that there is this connection, I have all this. You know, so I'm sure lots of us share that same sentiment that it's, you know, when you feel someone's energy and you can sort of see them, sense them, know what they're thinking, and you have this really powerful sort of spiritual connection with someone, it almost feels like um, that, you know, that, you know, that it would be, you'd be giving up, Not it's not even that. I, anyway, I, I can't put it into words. Um because there actually are no words, but I think um, others who will appreciate, you know, what I, what that sentiment is, that feeling of like, I really do want to have like a physical connection with someone, but I can't, but equally, um, I, I do know that I want it to be with my twin. So, um, and there's a difference between wanting and needing, isn't there? So, you know, um, I know that I'm perfectly happy. Uh, I don't need anyone. It's more like, but I want to share my life with someone. That's the difference. So that is very much the um, sentiment that I have been feeling recently. And uh, then it just, uh, as I was coming down to do the video, and on the radio, it was like, I just want to love you uh, over and over and over again. It was like it was on repetition. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. And that is 100% how I've been feeling. So, um, and uh, what I've done this morning, I just, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain here in the UK. And uh, I just went for a swim in a um, outdoor Lido and it made me... It was freezing because it's not heated, but at the same time, it made me feel like a child. You know, like swimming in the rain. There's actually, is there anything better? I don't think so. And um, so, and I just was thinking, wow, wouldn't it be so cool to be able to do these things with, with my twin, you know? So, um, yeah, there's been that. <laughs> So I am going to share an art of love because we are, you know, this is this is what we're mastering, the art of self-love, the art of love for the simple things in life, the art of love of living through the heart space, the art of, you know, um, so what I'm going to ask for actually is divine counterpart energy. So I'm going to do divine counterpart energy, then our energy, then the energy in the middle. Uh, I'm going to pull another card from as above, how are we being helped from spirit and what's the energy to help us ground it. So as above, so below. So firstly, the divine counterpart energy towards this connection. What is it? And it is the night of stars, the adventurer. Just as I was saying, I would love to do all these little adventures of life with our twin. Well, there is there is the mirror energy right there. You know, saying, yeah, I'm the adventurer who's right here with you. You have the six-pointed star, the star of David. Divine feminine, divine masculine, divine union. 
So the adventurer, they are the adventurer with you in spirit. It doesn't matter what's going on in the physical because, to be honest, it can be a complete shit show in the physical. But uh, on a spiritual level, you're, you are each other's, you know, kind of Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, you are helping each other to uh not that's a bad example well they were you know they didn't hurt so yeah i suppose they did hurt people but the body so as in the adventurer for life you know to push you forward to challenge you to make you do things that you probably wouldn't do um because on on a spiritual plane they're always helping you so this is the divine counterpart energy the adventurer the knight of stars so um then i'm gonna share I'm just going to shuffle again and I'm going to ask, okay, what about the energy for us? What is the energy for us? So for those of us that are watching this video that feel uh, aligned to this energy, the nine of angels, the guardian, we are the guardian for this and it for this connection. We are the guardian for this heart based heart-based connection um and we're each other's guardian angel that's the other thing you know in spirit we are there to help uh each other so we have the nine of angels the guardian and then we have the energy in the middle what is the middle the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle energy between us. And it is this. The t oh, my God. Of course it would be. The two of hearts union. <sighs> Energies swirled around each other. You know, the pink, the red, the pink being the unconditional love, the red being the grounding, this connection, the sacral chakra um everything about feeling grounded supported by the universe um to help you achieve union basically so we have union in between us that is the energy between us and then we have uh like i said i was going to do what is the energy from above what is the energy from above that's supporting us uh to help from as above so below so as above, it's the four of stars. So and that is advancement, right? And look, she looks pretty, like her, her eyes, they're like lasers of light coming through. So the four of stars above and then below, how are we being helped in the physical plane? because <laughs> that's what we actually want to you know that's really what it's all about how do we ground these into our physical 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 awareness so let's have a look it is the four of trees growth four of trees four of stars four and four four is the number of the foundation it's creating a strong foundation so um i will share the you well the union is exactly what it is it's like the coming together of two energies um the four of trees growth that's the one that i am going to read so this is how we are being helped in the physical realm so trying to control conditions will stunt your creativity and will limit your dreams work with your environment and positive change will flow to you easily this beautiful human represents the fourth tree in this image. She is connecting to nature, fully present in the moment. Here she realizes there is no need to collect information, relationships or material possessions to feel loved, secure or successful. She is safe and she is loved right now. The trees at her sides embrace and nurture her. The tree within her throat chakra is opening her inner voice and higher will. They love her regardless of her choices. They love her because she creates irrespective of the outcome. This is the nature of creation. The Four of Trees is a reminder that trying to control your environment is futile. You have been trying so hard to make life safe and comfortable through material gain that you are actually blocking the life you want. 
what are you so scared of losing? The tighter you hold on to a false security, the more tenuous a more authentic reward becomes. Substitute control with trust. You can always replace material wealth and create another stream of abundance and income. You have great abundance in your life now. Shift your perception and see it. Isn't that interesting? So if any of you, so this is, you know, very much trusting that the, the universe is there to support you, right, in your abundance, in everything, in all of the endeavors that your, your, your spiritual uh, kind of journey put you on. And that could be, you know, very often that is outside of, let's say, the um, norms of society. Um, maybe making you do uh, jobs that aren't like the normal in society, all those sorts of things. So um, the message from, so the, the grounding message is to trust in that abundance, to trust in the growth and the growth happens when it happens, right? Um, you have to trust in it. So the four of stars, walk the path of your joyous heart, be loyal to your inner truth and soon you will be celebrating. The Four of Stars opens a new chapter, a business. Interesting because the, the message from above is about abundance, creativity. So in the physical world, if, we, if you have been experiencing that feeling of lack or feeling of you need to hold on to things because, I mean, it's certainly in the UK at the moment, everything is about the cost of living. So the amount that they're creating and scaremongering people, it's not a surprise that people are thinking, oh, I can't, you know, I have to be really careful with my money and f feeling like miserly because it's constantly about the cost of living crisis that we're having and the recession that we're going into and all of those things. And so spirit, and so as above is saying, you know, trust, trust in the prosperity of the universe, trust that you will be given what you need, maybe not what you want, <laughs> but what you need. So along this path, I have you know, always got what I've needed. What I <laughs> and um, and quite a lot of the time, that's meant that I haven't. Um, I have had long periods of time of having very little um, income, but that's because that was all about going on a journey within. If I'd had lots of income, I would have been out and about and doing stuff. And then you can't really listen to your inner voice because you're not concentrating on it. So, you know, everyone's path is different. It depends what you need. And again, the message is, is to always say, take me to my highest path, put me on my highest path, please support the team, help me, help me to nourish my soul, help me to walk my highest path, my golden path. And then everything that happens is then a journey of faith and trust that you are going exactly where you need to be going for your soul growth. And that is the, that is, okay, far much, far easier said than done. You know, but that's what we're here to do, master the energy. So the four of stars opens a new chapter. A business, a creative venture, relationship or friendship is about to shift and to transform into a fresh way of being. Give yourself a pat on the back. The hard work is done. This is a time for rejoicing and celebration. At its foundation, this card is a physical or symbolic union or birth. Interesting. A symbolic union and the, and the joint energies was the union. So open your heart to receive for you're worthy of all of that you want to create and experience. As you learn to love and embrace yourself, you will, out, you will allow others to love and embrace you. And this is the four of ones in the Rider Waite deck. And the four of ones is traditionally the marriage card. So there is this sacred union, you know, sacred union and, and the energy is saying, you know, basically trust, have faith, push forward, trust in your dreams, trust in whatever you're being guided to do. And that could be different for everyone. So we're going to go for a cut that DM. What do we need to know today? And it is open the curtains and let a new fucking day begin <laughs> i love this book there's no messing open the curtains and let a new fucking day begin so start afresh every that's the beauty about being human every single day 
we can change you know we can morph into something else so i'm listening to a number and that number that i just heard was 177 so i am going to read 177 i want you to know that you don't need to worry everything is in perfect divine order remember to ignore what is happening it doesn't matter about messages it really doesn't matter about any of this stuff what matters is believing in true love believing in the power of love believing that if we say things to each other out of fear it's because we are fighting our own battles internally we're following our own truth remember always to know that this journey is as much about the dark as it is the light and it is that battle within us that we are working with every day there is a light at the end of the tunnel but every now and then it gets blocked so we feel in the dark scared and panicky that's because we've blocked our own light. The way to open it again is to concentrate on how we feel about one another, how it feels like when we're together. That is the only truth. And that also is very true because it's only you and your twin that really know that connection, that kind of like magic that happens that is quite, you know, surreal. So my brother has said it all brilliantly as usual. The thing I'd like to add is that the plane is set to land and set to fly because it's been pre-planned already. Love is in the air, it's already there. It's already all around us. So you can just chill, relax, settle into your flight path and trust that if you follow your golden path, the runway lights will glow bright and your plane will lift off and your love will fly high and will bring you the most amazing life ever. There you go. Following the golden path. Asking yourself to be taken there every single day. So last one. This is book three from The Divine Love Letter Books. All of these books, amazing way to get more and more messages. So book three is that I love you. That I so miss our time together. I would give anything to change the past and do things differently. To be able to tell you I love you, it's like a huge weight has been lifted off my chest. It's been such a heavy burden. I've wanted to tell you how I've been truly feeling and I can never find the right words or pluck up the courage. Everything with you is different. You are the one, the other half of me, the switch to my light. You turn me on forever. Together we will glow bright. Well, <clears throat> there we go. It's to remember that together we blow, we grow, glow, we grow and we glow. <laughs> together we grow and we glow bright. So there we go. That is the message for today. I really hope that helps. Wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful day and um, do something that lightens up your soul, makes you feel like a child again. Go and free your spirit. All right, I hope that helps. I'll be back tomorrow, but in the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you have. Stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. See ya, bye.